Are your flip cups more like flop cups? <laughs> Are your wrecked rings just, well, wrecked? <sighs> well, we have the solution for you. And that's the Fluid Art Experience. Here in Dallas, Texas, on November the 12th and November the 13th, you have the opportunity to be live and in person with one of your five favorite YouTube artists. Come learn some tips techniques and everything you need to know to replicate some beautiful art, you'll be taking away art with you and you also have the opportunity to come and join us at a Texan barbecue and a question and answer session. So why don't you go and log on right now at www.fluidartexperience.com and see what all the fun is about. We'll hopefully see you soon. Hello everyone. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And we're going to be pouring over pumpkins today. Yes. It's the start of the Halloween month, but fall is upon us, and what better way to represent the season than to pour over a couple of pumpkins. Everything pumpkin spice. Exactly. <laughs> You've already had, what, pumpkin spice cakes, pumpkin spice drink, <laughs> A pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice scone, coffee, scone, scone, right? Yeah, we're all about pumpkin spice in this <laughs> in this studio. And instead of pouring over real pumpkins, which you can, I'm sure, absolutely do. Yeah, true. We're gonna pour over these plaster stacked pumpkins that we got from Michaels. Yes. So um, yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. Pouring over objects is always fun because yeah. gravity is also going to play a part in this composition, <laughs> which clearly exactly. doesn't when you're on a canvas unless you're tilting it. Um, so this is going to be fun. Now we're not going to be putting a canvas under these pores. Yes. Because we're using leftover paints. Exactly. So um, it's going to get a little muddy down there mm -hmm. and it's not worth muddying up a canvas for the sake of keeping the paint. Big risks for big rewards, hopefully, is yes. the plan. Now, if you haven't already, please go check out fluidartexperience.com. That's ourselves, Mina, Sarah, Kathleen from Cos Creations and Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, all pouring here live in a classroom style in November the 12th and the 13th. Yeah. Play no, there are still tickets available. We hope to see you there. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. All right, show pony. Let's get to it. Should we do this? Yeah. We'll see you at the table. All right, awesome. Hey guys, so it's Jeremy here, and I'm super excited about this pour today. What are you up to, pumpkin? Well, pumpkin, uh -huh. we are up to pouring over pumpkins today. <laughs> it's a stack of three. It's so cute. We saw these, and we were just like, we have to pour over Where these. did we see them? That was a great question. I forgot. Michaels. Michaels. Yeah. That's where it was. Of course, it, Michaels. Right. Right? Um, so, yeah, so I have my colors all picked out. I got my pumpkins. I am ready to rock and roll. What are your colors? Are you going very Halloween-y? What are you doing? I'm doing kind of like Halloween, fall, like just colors that you want to wrap yourself up in a big blanket of. Delicious. So I'm doing this Amsterdam copper. Love it. Yes. I am doing this orange Azo or Azo orange by Amsterdam. Lovely. I am doing this Green Deep Permanent by Liquitex Basics. Okay. Uh, now, I love this color, you guys. Pearl Yellow Banana by Arteza. Pearl Banana Yellow. Pearl Banana Yellow. Um, also, Quinacridone Crimson by Goldens. All gone. All gone. And Dioxazine Purple by Goldens. I love that one. Yes. Yes. So, this is so exciting. So, I guess I just need to start layering my cup. Let's do it. And I'm gonna get you right there, sir. Now, what okay, are you perfect. doing? I'm gonna layer my cup and then I'm gonna ring pour over the top of okay. it. Okay, how many, do you think you, how much do we need for these pumpkins? Cause it's not a flat surface, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to, as I pour it, I'm gonna have to watch right. how it runs down. And explain to everyone how your little setup is there. What have you got ah, sitting underneath the okay. pumpkin? Well, what was really cute was, is that the pumpkin was actually hollow on the right. inside right here. So I just used a plastic cup as my base so that way it would 
you know, lift up off the ground. And then we're using this gray bucket here, turned upside down, uh, to place it on top of. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so then let's get layering your corals. Awesome. All right, guys. So I have my layered cup here, which is amazing. I had to layer it off, off camera. That was my fault because I was holding the phone in the opposite direction. So anyone that has a YouTube channel knows you have to do everything in landscape and I was holding yes. the camera in portrait because now I'm also thinking about holding the camera for the TikTok. So yeah, I got it all very confused. It's okay, baby. It's okay. All right. So oh, I'm really excited about this. I'm a little nervous, but I'm so excited. Um, let's see here. Whoops. Yeah, I have to pour with my right hand, so. Now, I know everyone at home is going to be saying, why didn't you pour this on a canvas? Well, you know, we absolutely could have done. Most of these are leftover paints. So we chose actually not to pour on a canvas because what we don't fully love is the aesthetic of muddied paint that's fallen off an item. So that's the reason why we didn't decide to, or we chose not to yeah. pour these over a canvas. But it's not being wasteful because these are leftover paints. Well, I really love what happened to this side over here, mm -hmm. right here. And I love this side actually over mm -hmm. here, but this side, this this part right here, kind of got none, and this side right here kind of got none. So I think I might layer another cup, okay, and pour just right here and right there just to get it. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Let's see here. Let's go with some copper. You know. Um, okay. And I did the red. And I did, let's do, I think I did yellow next. You know, I really don't like how that Let's see, green. Purple. And I'm gonna do just a touch of orange. All right. Yeah? Yes. Now I managed to get that cup. Good. <laughs> Go for it. Kind of doesn't match the rest of it, does it? Ooh, that looks really cool. 
I love how it's like running down the spines yeah. of the pumpkin. Okay, I'm loving this. Yeah? Yeah, I'm really loving this. Okay. Yeah, in a big way. I think it's absolutely stunning. Now, you know, gravity is going to play an important part in this. So what's going to happen now is those colors will continue just to drip for a little while, at least until it sets up. Yeah. Um, so why don't we do this? If you want to move yours out of the way, I'll pour mine and then maybe we'll have an opportunity to kind of take him in to see a close up. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Sounds good. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. It's Lee and my pumpkin and the show pony <laughs> behind the camera. So um, just like Jeremy did, I'm actually gonna pour over my stacked pumpkin, set up exactly the same way. There's a gray bucket, there's a cup inside the porcelain pumpkin or the ceramic pumpkin, whatever material it is, plaster pumpkin. And, um, and then my pumpkins are here. Now the colors I'm using are a little different. There's a couple of similarities, but I've got a few different ones. I'm using the uh, Liquitex Basics Mars Black. I also have the Azo Orange. I have Copper by Amsterdam. I have Carmine, which is a really delicious, ready, purpley colour. I also have Caput Morton Violet, which is a really cool colour. I have Dioxazine Purple by Goldens. And then I also have my Pearl Banana Yellow by Arteza, because I didn't want white. I wanted to use something else instead. So I also opted for that Pearl Banana Yellow. Now, as Jeremy rung poured onto his pumpkins, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to flip cup mine onto the top and then release the paints down and see what happens. Now, I'm gonna lay two flip cups because I think I might need two because I don't think seven ounces is enough paint for this pumpkin. But before I do that, show pony, if you could hand me that last cup there, please. This is just pure flow troll. I wanted to put something on this pumpkin that will allow the rest of the colors to flow down it, but I didn't want to use a paint because I didn't want to waste it. So instead, as a flow extender, I'm just gonna use Floetrol. So I'm just gonna pour this all around the pumpkin, get it nice and wet. So hopefully that's gonna help my colors to slide down here. Then I'm gonna use my fingers just to get the pieces of this pumpkin that were not covered. So this is basically like a flow extender like we put on our canvases. This is purely here to help the rest of the colors slip down this pumpkin. And I'm using pure flow troll because you know what? It just needs to be wet. It doesn't need to be pretty because I'm gonna be covering all of this pumpkin up. So this is just flow troll in order to give me something to allow these colors to slip down. Am I completely covered there, show pony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get to this. Um, I am going to layer my cups right here. Does that work for you? Yes. Yeah, like that? Absolutely. All right. So first off, I'm going to pour into, in both cases, some of the banana yellow. Jeremy loves this, so that's going to be my my vehicle to get the rest of the colors to flow. So let's put some dioxazine in here next. Oh, and I am dirty layering, of course, as you can tell. Now this is caput. Pouring from way up high, I see. Way up high. Let's get some of the... Oh, no, that was carmine. This is caput. Get some of this in here. Now I have a little bit of black. Now I'm not going to use too much of this, but I am going to put some in. Okay. Some copper. And some orange. Right, I've got every color in here now. So let's just top up with a few more. Some carmine, some caput, mortem. 
a little bit of dioxazine. Oof, don't know if I dare, but I'm gonna. A little bit more banana. Okay, super full cups here. Next, I'm gonna flip this cup on top of this pumpkin. How am I gonna do this, you might ask? Well, I am going to cheat, at least with the first one. So the first time around, I'm gonna take my pumpkin, dip it in my paint colors, and then flip it over. And there she's stuck. All right, so I cheated a little bit. I flipped my cup on top of my pumpkins. I love what's happening on the sides of the pumpkin. Let's see what happens when I release this cup off the top. Now I could, I could show Pony Paint Grenade this one. That probably would have been the easiest thing to do had I thought about it, but I didn't. So instead, I'm just gonna release the colors and see what happens. So show Pony, are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Now I kind of knew that one pot was not going to be enough, which is why we layered two. That one I was a little less scared about. I just flopped that thing on the top. And what I'm gonna try and do this time is direct the paint to the parts that are not covered on top of this pumpkin. So, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. The front is pretty well covered, but the back is not. So that's where we're going to aim for. All right, show pony, you ready? I am ready. So there you have it folks, what do you think? I kind of like it. There's a lot of purple in here and a lot of red, but I don't hate that at all. Um, every single bit of this pumpkin is covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape my edges and, and then we're gonna put this one down a little bit and we'll get try and get these in for some wet results for you. Thanks guys. So there you have it folks. There you have it. A couple of pumpkin <laughs> paws. Now before we go any further, I want to just address a question that we get a lot and that's why do we call him the show pony? Ah. Uh. And I can tell you. <laughs> so when I first met Jeremy, one of the things he used to say to me was, I'm a show pony, not a workhorse. Yes. So I had a t-shirt printed for him that says, I'm a show pony, not a workhorse. And ever since then, he's always been known as the show pony. Yes. Um, I'm the workhorse. And <laughs> on to other things. How did you like your paw? I loved it. I yeah. thought it was great, yeah. Would you like to show everyone at all? Absolutely. Because these are now dry completely. Look at that beautiful pumpkin. I you love this. Actually got some really pretty colors on there. Yeah, and the colors like really deepened and changed a lot. It went very copper toned. Yeah, which is great though, because I mean, I used all that copper. Now this is not actually had a coat of spray varnish on it yet, but I know. it will. This is literally just dried with the Liquitex gloss medium in there. But look how beautiful and shiny it is. It almost doesn't need a layer of varnish. I love it. But we will varnish it just to keep them because we'll bring these out year after year, I'm yeah. sure. And here is mine. Now, it's a little darker because of the dioxazine purple in here for sure. In fact, I need to 
Did you just kick me, show pony? Sorry. Part of the show pony was kicking me then. You know, horses kick. Exactly. I, I want to be. I hope that this is focusing on the actual gourds itself. I don't know how to get it not to be in the show pony's face. There we go, like that. <laughs> um, or my face, for that matter. But yeah, dark, moody, but it's Halloween season, so why the heck not? You can definitely see some of the colours on here. Um, but it is definitely a lot darker in the flip cup style than it was in the ring pour. It's beautiful though. Thank you, I, I really enjoy it. And again, no varnish on there just yet, just the Liquitex gloss medium in the pour. So there you have a couple of fun pours yeah. for this Friday evening. Um, we hope you enjoyed that. We hope if you're here chatting in the premiere that you had fun too. To all our Patreons, we love you. Thank you for all of your support. You mean the world to us. You do. Which we don't say lightly. We really do mean that. And to all our mods that are always here. Cheryl, Kathleen, to Sarah, to Mina. Thank you so much, guys. We yeah. appreciate you too. Um, that is it. That is it. Yeah. We'll see you on Sunday for another fun pour. Yeah. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, have a great weekend until we see you on Sunday. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houldsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, and it's Jillian Barnett. Now with the platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys, and to everyone else that, whose names that you'll see here listed below, Thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey. And we're going to keep pouring. Yes. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys.